According to a RAND article, nearly half of retirees would return to work. If you're considering going back to work after retiring, you're not alone. And if it's not because of financial reasons, you might be missing a sense of purpose or fulfilling a structure. In this video, we share the benefits and disadvantages of working after retirement. In case you're new, I'm Sin Meyer, the founder of Second Wind Movement and a life coach for older adults who are striving to turn their retirement years into their best years full of purpose and meaning. And a big part of that is establishing a daily structure that gives you the most energy and focus and also the relaxation and free time. Because yes, you can have it all, especially during retirement. You just have to support it with the right retirement structure. And sometimes, that means adding work back into your life. There are key benefits of working after retirement. Number one, improved health. Working later in life, especially part-time, and especially if it aligns with your new identity in retirement, which is meant to be different from your career role, gives you the benefit of staying mentally, socially, and physically active. Social interactions in the workplace, especially if they're with people who energize you, can be a great benefit. And there's also the cognitive benefit. Having mentally demanding work can improve your cognition and prevent cognitive decline in old age. And of course, the best way to stay mentally sharp and emotionally and physically healthy is to do work that you love. So it's important to first find clarity on your sense of purpose, which brings us to number two, your sense of purpose. Your job was probably a big part of your identity. And if you're like many retirees, losing your career identity can feel like losing your sense of purpose. So another benefit of returning to the workforce in retirement is to regain that sense of purpose and combat any feelings of emptiness and confusion that can come with retirement. According to AARP, while 32% of retirees work for pay since retiring, 90% do it because they want to stay active and involved. But again, a big caveat is to make sure that your retirement job is something that energizes you. This is a great time to reinvent the way that you contribute your skills and your personality to the world. Even if you really need the money, try not to force yourself to pick up a job solely for the money. Whether it's a cause that lights you up or simply the social interaction that you gain, you'll benefit the most from an energizing work environment, specifically in retirement, because if you love your job at this life stage, work can be a very great source of joy and happiness. Bonus tip, hunt for a paid volunteer gig that aligns with your interests and your passions. You can find the right volunteer opportunity that's paid, and there are even virtual volunteer options. And then there's of course number three, secure retirement. The most obvious benefit is financial. While retirement is known to be a time to relax and enjoy yourself, if you have that fear of outliving your savings hanging over your head and with the rising cost of living, for instance, check out some of these annual costs for assisted living in the most expensive US states, returning to work can give you an income stream that relieves that financial stress. Now for the disadvantages of working after retirement. Number one, time commitment. You don't wanna lose your sense of freedom and your ownership of your calendar. When you work full time, it's like every minute is accounted for. And after decades of this lifestyle, retirement and an open calendar can be an exciting prospect with a new sense of time freedom. You may not wanna hand over that to another job. If getting a new retirement job means you can't put yourself first, you may want to reconsider. Either way, it's about looking at how you're spending your time and making sure that it's on energizing activities. To put it into perspective, the average older adult spends between five and eight hours on leisure and sports every day, which is the equivalent of at least a part-time job and maybe even a full-time one. So at the very least, when you sign up for working after retirement, make sure the time and energy trade-off is worthwhile. Number two, increased stress. If you're trying to fill a void in retirement, sometimes working isn't the answer. 
especially if it means committing to a job just to get you out of the house. And especially if it's a high stress job or even a less demanding job that causes stress because it's not aligned with you. So if you do decide to keep working, make sure that your job energizes you and actually brings you some sort of fulfillment. Studies show that retirement leads to a substantial reduction in mental ability and physical fatigue and depressive symptoms anyway. So the last thing you want to do is increase that stress with a misaligned job. Finding clarity is going to be especially huge in retirement. By the way, in case you want help finding clarity, I have a free finding clarity workbook that will help you see where sources of energy versus stress are. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video. Number three, social security and tax. Working in retirement could impact both social security benefits and the amount that you owe in taxes. So pay attention to those details to see if it's even worth it. Before reaching full retirement age, you're facing a reduction in social security benefits. And if your combined income is over that threshold, you can expect to pay taxes on security benefits, state and federal income and Medicare. And depending on how much you earn, the percentage of income that social security replaces varies. For instance, for a 65 year old in 2020, that meant a difference between 26 to 53% of income replacement. In a nutshell, before taking a new job, consider the financial implications and then plan accordingly. When it comes to both money and life satisfaction, planning is key. Whether you're going back to work or not, knowing your goals from a holistic view can help guide the rest of your financial decisions. To recap the benefits of working after retirement. Number one, improved health. If it energizes you with the right people and mental stimulation. Number two, sense of purpose. Again, if it's a job that aligns with your new retirement identity. Number three, financial security. And the disadvantages of working after retirement. Number four, time commitment. Number five, increased stress. If it's not an ideal job for you at this life stage. And number six, social security and taxes. Just factor in those details. Deciding whether or not to work after retiring is so much more than just a financial decision. It's about how this choice shapes your quality of life and your sense of purpose, which is super closely tied to your personal identity. Of course, retirement means different things for different people, so be sure to go inward for the clarity and the answers and to not look at what's popular or what other people are doing or what they're suggesting. So thank you so much for being here and striving to be your best during retirement. We need more people like you to help shift our culture to be better. So please like, share, and subscribe, and comment on this video. Every engagement that you make with our videos helps us do our job better of creating helpful content for this important audience of older adults. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.